Spartan fans, can't wait to see you. We're about to be wheels up here in Colorado. Can't wait to see you in East Lansing. Go green. That's Mel Tucker ready to go. Spartans posted this video to Twitter late this afternoon as the school's new head coach makes his way to MSU. That's right, and Bernie's here. Now, this comes as a pretty big surprise, right? Sure, but, he, you know, he's the guy that opened up last week. He was the yeah. first guy. Michigan State needed a football coach before they became another punchline, so they revisited Mel Tucker of Colorado, who originally said no, but this time they came with money. Reports say he got a five-year deal worth over $5 million per season. He's the new head coach of the Spartans. We've got highlights of Tucker be introduced at a 6:30 press conference tonight. Here he is arriving in East Lansing. He was head coach at Colorado for just one season. They finished five and seven. He knows East Lansing because he was a graduate assistant there under Nick Saban in the late 90s. Tucker originally said no to Michigan State when they came back with cash. The word is they doubled his salary. At this point, Spartan fans are glad to have a football coach before someone thinks of another one-liner to describe their coaching search. Standing by live in East Lansing with how the campus has taken the news is Jason Coldthorpe. Have you gotten any feel from what they're saying on campus? He did a lot more than just call nice things. Well, it depends on which campus you're talking about, Bernie. In Boulder today, they are furious about this. But here in East Lansing, there's a lot of relief bordering on excitement because, like you said, they were able to get a guy near the top of their list uh, that, at, you know, this process was kind of getting out of hand and I'm standing outside the special board of trustees meeting right now AD Bill Beekman is inside addressing the board going over the deal and uh, going over what uh, Mel Tucker brings to this uh, university in fact he just arrived a few moments ago and walked through the hallway with his family we have video of that as well uh, Tucker as you said comes from Colorado and to say that this uh, whole process over the last eight days was a whirlwind is an understatement watch the MSU coaching search for its next football coach reached a breakneck pace in the last eight days. So are you familiar with who they hired, Mel Tucker? I am. What are your thoughts? Who did they hire? Mel Tucker. Oh, I thought they were, it was going to be Luke Fickle. The candidates came and went so fast, some fans couldn't keep up. No, Fickle turned him down yesterday oh, and in the last shoot. 24 hours. So you didn't even know that Luke Fickle passed. No, I thought that was a done deal. Oh, no. Oh, shoot. no. Shoot. Who, I don't even know who Mel Tucker is. Well, Mel Tucker is one of a handful of candidates who publicly stated they would not be taking the job. But when the Luke Fickle deal fell through, MSU AD Bill Beekman circled back and overnight they struck a deal. He's a great recruiter and uh, really excited to see what he brings here. Fans are mixed, but warming up to Tucker rather quickly. He's no stranger to MSU or to those on the search committee. His career began as a grad assistant at MSU on the 1998 team under head coach Nick Saban and an assistant coach named Mark D'Antonio. We'll see. I mean, it was a bit of a surprise when they hired D'Antonio, um, and he obviously did very, very well. I think at the end of the day, we got a, a guy, and I think he'll be here for a while, and I think we'll see great things on the field. Now again, here outside the special board of trustees meeting, inside Coach Mel Tucker and his family being introduced uh, to the board, which will approve this hiring, and then he will make his way over to the Breslin Center, where there will be a press conference at 6:30 uh, to introduce the new football coach. Coming up at six, uh, we'll let you know uh, what happened here, and we'll also delve a little bit more into the coach's resume and uh, about this search process, which, as we said, was uh, frenetic to say the least. Guys, back to you. All right. Thank you, Jason. Speaking of his resume, he has some Ohio blood in him. He's from Cleveland. Yeah. I read that. Yeah. And something with Ohio State, but we don't <laughs> yeah. care about that, right? Any South Carolina connection? No, no South Carolina. Yeah, I just want to make clear There's something there. We'll, we'll well, he's got a deeper. chance then of being good. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. We'll talk to you a little bit later. Yeah.